So Assalamualaikum dan selamat jatuh Selamat datang lagi kepada channel uh, aku hari ni So hari ni kita akan bincangkan pasal topik menari Iaitu sebab kita dah buat 4 episod So hari ni episod yang keempat Kita bersama dengan panelis kita istimewa uh, Daripada uh, Daripada mana? Mr. <laughs> Dang Selangor Mr. Dang Selangor, ok So saya akan explain sikit dan cerita sikit pasal panelis kita ni Dia antara top student uh, dekat law, law faculty ni dan dia, saya cerita sikit lah, dia punya barang data, bukan barang data lah, kehebatan-kehebatan dia, ok. Uh, kita punya panelis ni merupakan Net Mission Ambassador dan juga adalah member of Dot Asia Organization, ok. Dan kita punya panelis kita ni juga dia sangat aktif uh, dalam men- mentoring punya uh, activity dan dia telah menjadi mentor untuk subjek-subjek macam Malaysia Legal System, Contract, Tort dan juga Constitutional Law, ok. Dan seperti saya juga, kita punya panelis ni datang daripada Asasi Dengkil juga, uh, Law UITM. Dan sekarang kita orang batch yang sama, kita orang tengah buat degree uh, dalam Law School. Okay. So, saya rasa cukup akut untuk pengenalan. Okay. So, kita akan masuk terus. Uh, kita akan jump into our first question. Which is, okay. So, Adik. Sekarang ni, kalau kita tahulah dekat uh, SPM, memang tak ada kos ataupun bidang yang pasal law ni dalam sejarah pun sentuh sikit-sikit je kan pasal law okay. so apa yang membuatkan uh, you ber- terfikir untuk ambil law at the first place maksudnya apa yang maybe inspired you ke uh, cuba ceritakan um, Hi, um, thank you the moderator for the question um, to be frank and very straightforward kan I would say that uh, taking law is not something that I wanted to do in the first place. That I wanted to take in the first place. This is because I remember the time when I filled the UPU, right? When after SPM. So at, at the first, um, at the outset of uh, my journey, I would say that I did not want to take law because I wanted to, to, um, to take something else, which is I wanted to take uh, professional accounting. But my SPM wasn't that good. So I had to, um, to go to public uh, universities, right? Because, macam, yalah, because I'm, I'm coming from middle class family and I do not have really so much money to pursue my study in uh, private university for professional accounting. So, uh, taking law was something that I would say that was actually an accident. Not an accident. But um, I would say that it's something that I've never thought of. Like, I've never imagined or thought of myself being a lawyer or being a law student. But I remember this time when... I um, kind of like, I kind of talk bad about my friend who wanted to pursue law tau. That's a carry fair in my school. Basically, kan, macam, um, he, thought, he said macam, oh, I wanted to become a lawyer and I wanted to pursue law. And I said, do you think that you can do um, law? <laughs> I said that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so um, basically, so after SPM, I did not know what I want to pursue in the first place. So I kind of followed my friend out. I remember there's a, my, some uh, some friends who really want to pursue law. So they know how to actually go into law field, like how to get and enter into law school. So I kind of follow um, uh, my friend and I said, oh, why don't you uh, much, um, give it a try? Lah? Because after, SP, uh, after Asasi, you can actually take another courses if you want to. like. If you want to pursue like economics, if I'm not mistaken, you can still, but um, yeah. under in like um, social still sciences. under yeah. social science lah. So, um, so I said, like, oh, maybe I should give it a try again. So I filled uh, UPU, and my first choice was um, UIA, Asasi Law UIA, and then then Kill, which is Asasi UITM, and then Asasi KPTM. So that's my um, that's how I kind of like choose law, but um to be um to be more like realistic reason lah okay. Uh, okay. um after um i filled upu i kind of watch uh movies style in regards with um legal because there's a lot of netflix uh, series of movies that can you guys can watch that you guys can learn um and can you, you guys can some... get inspired tau huh? can you name some uh, movie ke atau drama i think like uh I, there's a lot of key dramas lah but i would uh. say my town ka- like English drama, I would uh, recommend you guys um, to watch um, How to Get Away with Murder and then we have Suits and then there's a lot actually called K-dramas but I I dah lupa but um, 
to be frank I memang I watch key drama mula and I to get uh, the inspiration you know and then um I ask lots of people because um especially for seniors lah there's a lot of seniors who are very helpful because um after SPM when you are not exposed to such things for example for like to legal things like legal field because you know like in high school we are not exposed to deep subject and so what i did was that i go to i went to twitter and i i i stalk like i search about asasi ya mula tapi macam most of the seniors are already in law school like um belajar dekat uh, main faculty kan so you guys can actually ask what how law school will actually will be because i rasa macam that will actually give you like a like a like an over view on how law school will be and especially asasi lah because in order for you to get into law school you need to go through and pursue your study um in pre university program which is um like i did was um asasi lah uh, yeah i think okay. that's all good okay okay oh, okay interesting okay so kita ada a few finalists kita yang macam you juga dia macam they are not very decisive lah untuk pursue law dulu awal-awal okay tapi later on dia orang mula minat law macam santai like that okay Okay, so sekarang kita dah bincang pasal SPM. Okay, so uh, daripada SPM, kita nak ke asasi pula. Okay, so kita nak tanya your personal opinion atau uh, ni, your punya sharing lah eh. You nak share your experience. Which is, adakah asasi ni best or not? And why? Uh, <laughs> oh, Asasi law um, lah. Um, thank you so much uh, for the question. Hmm. And I think um, this is the most intriguing part of like this forum is because when it comes to uh, my asasi journey or experience, I would say this like the best phase of my life is because of the fact that I met so much people, I learned a lot of people and I would say that uh, asasi has um, shaped myself, has like molded myself to become a better person. This is because when I was in high school, I was that kind of like mediocre student. Um, teachers did not really look up into me because of the fact that my grades uh, were not that good. I'm not saying that they are not um, caring enough. It's just because macam, I felt like um, I felt like outcast. Macam, I rasa macam, because of my results and tak seberapa kan, um, I wasn't given so much attention lah. But when I got into Asasi, there's a lot of people helping me to get myself better. What I would say that one thing that I love to say about myself is that I kind of love how I grow, like my career. You know what I mean? Because from like a mediocre student to become like a someone, it requires a lot of effort and also um, motivations and also um, much um, uh, attention from other people, much um, helps from other people. This is because much um, when I got into Asasi, I met a lot of people especially my friends, my close friends, even though macam we knew just like for macam, macam berapa, berapa bulan je lah, not, not even a year kan, mm-hmm. we knew them and then macam we become very close and then they have been very uh, helpful and then yeah, that's uh, my point of view like macam how Asasi has become, has impacted my life lah. Tapi I would say that macam Asasi, one of the, macam there's a lot of experiences yang I rasa macam it cannot be afforded somewhere else i would say that macam asasi is like it's like macam it's like a transition from you like high school which is like a, a teenage you know like a teenager who does not really understand how outside world will be and then you go into asasi right and then this is like a transition that you need to learn because um from um, asasi to law school or macam degree you will become an adult uh, dekat, uh, dekat, dekat, mana? dekat degree which is macam Orang tak akan macam anggap you like a teenage yang baru nak jadi adult. Like kalau kat Asasi, you are not like a adult lagi because you are still teen. But I would say that macam you are going to be more independent. You are going to be like, you are going to learn a lot of things lah. I would say macam, if uh, macam, I don't know because macam time management is not really an issue. Because I went to boarding school, I learned a lot about that. But I think uh, my friend said that macam, Asasi pun macam, just still banyak aja punya um, schedule still long like daily schedule dia memang panjang gila um, but I think um, is going to teach you on how to manage your time 
and then one thing is about perseverance i think because when it comes to um as um asasi kan i think you are going to face a lot of challenges ah macam kena saman taklah okay macam ah kena banyak benda lah you are going to face a lot of things like friends your problems just especially macam i'm not going to touch on that part but i will say that macam when you go into asasi you will meet a lot of people tau and then there will be like people yang memang akan step back back step you and do some things yang sangat buruk kepada you and these are the things macam akan hinder you from growing tau my point is that when you become uh, an asasi student will become someone you become you grow to become someone and these are the things yang macam i not you guys nampak how asasi will actually um, help you eat you and become like someone so macam like i said macam when there's a lot of things and become hidden to you can um these things will not like stop you from doing what you are doing now but it's just macam somehow you are kind of demotivated but as i see friends as i see environments will actually keep pushing you to become a better person so yeah i think that's macam benda yang best and yeah as i see banyak benda yang biasa macam I do not know how SSC looks like now because everything is had online like classes. But I've heard that they are going back to campus, but there are still um, strict SOPs that need to be abide with. And uh, SSC bears about there's a lot of um, programs, and then apa lagi banyak lah programs every single week. Many other programs that you guys can. Um, release your attention there and then you guys let's say macam you guys want to watch movies can there will be like weekly movies i love weekly but there are certain times some macam you guys boleh take movie juga macam tu betul 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 ya yeah. uh, i setuju dengan your punya opinion tu betul sebab ya yeah, bila kat sisi tak tahulah sekarang waktu PKP ni macam mana kan tapi during our time memang waktu ada banyak aktiviti lah ya sampai kadang tak sempat nak join semua pun sebab kadang ada program clash and one dengan the other tu dia clash pula program tu Okay, and ah, uh, macam Arif sendiri, okay, you join a lot of competition macam muting dan sebagainya kan? Ah, uh, so Arif ni pun antara mutus dekat uh, asasi dulu. So boleh you share your uh, experience? Maksudnya macam mana as a you as a student, you manage your time dengan study and at the same time dengan activity activity during asasi. Um, I think uh, it depends on individual lah. Macam there's a lot of people yang macam they want to like focus on studies, but somehow they do not know how to enjoy their life, like their time being there. Is this because macam I rasa macam when it comes to um studying, you cannot really like study je like that. Uh, because I would personally say macam co-curricular activities will actually help your career, will beautify your career, especially your 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 resume or cv because these are the things that makes you different from other person but i would say that when it comes to um when it comes to um balancing my time like between study and extracurricular activities i would say that macam i memang akan um okay kalau study you focus on classes like very very focused you go to class do not skip or miss any class because this is very important now because um macam there's a lot of people juga yang macam skip classes and then they do, don't get what um apa yang dah diajar in class kan this is something yang macam for me it will jeopardize your cgpa because first you terlepas you miss everything that has been taught in class and then you tak boleh catch up um because you imagine like there's a lot of like cases there's a lot of provisions that you need to remember and then let's say you skip class you imagine lah how many cases how many provisions that you cannot keep up with and then whenever you want to keep up with there's another upcoming um um things that you want to do that you want to to study yeah hmm. so for me do not ever skip class because i as a minister juga because I'm my degree because it's online right and yeah. how it's like macam very demotivating guys because <laughs> not a lot of much like, motivations can get hard but memang i miss agil because i do not really like keep up with my syllabus um during during like degree life but memang as i see that's how i do lah and then you guys i would say that macam like, i memang akan buat jadual like 
hari ni study apa, hari study apa, and then I'll just re- repeat everything. And then what I can see is that um, most of people do, they do not know how to like um um uh, macam mana? They do not know how to um divide time between like doing assignments and studying because kalau physical I, I thought I'm thinking uh, I'm I'm talking in the uh, uh, on the part of like physical classes lah. I would say that macam when it comes to physical classes, you need to do your assignments and then you need to like um go to sit uh, for final examinations kan mm. and you still need to study you still need to remember some of the things kan and that's why i would say macam i i memang jadi macam kalau 8 malam until 10 i would definitely macam buka buku and revise what uh, apa yang i think and then after 10 until pukul 1 tu kan i akan baru uh, buat assignments that's how i manage my time mm. and then <laughs> Kalau ada important things, baru I macam Hold dulu my study, my assignments For example like for Like meeting kan, ada meeting kan So That's how I I do lah And then that's going to be super busy lah kalau you guys join Tapi is everything is going to be like super worth it lah because The experience is so macam mahal, expensive Because this is something that you cannot be afforded That, that you cannot afford somewhere else and that's why macam I cakap I always encourage my juniors to join lots of things I mean not lots of things it's just that macam janganlah join banyak benda it's just that you commit to something yang memang you can macam you rasa macam berguna untuk your your like your career so then you pursue with that particular um, activity or um, I would call it like um, uh, curri- extracurricular activities so, yeah. okay so it's a joke okay So sekarang, okay, kita dah cerita pasal SPM and then asasi, okay now, moving on to the time between asasi dengan degree, which is about uh, interview dan sebagainya, okay. So boleh tak you share your experience waktu interview sebab some people ataupun most of the people lah mesti akan macam nervous dan takut semua. Okay, so you share your opinion about interview waktu degree, law degree. Um, yeah, uh, I think That's kind of true because I was I was in the same situation juga lah kan. Um, I would say that it's kind of hard for me. It's not like hard because of macam hard like hard. You know what I mean? Because um, we did our interview online. I think everything is online now, so you guys can like bear in mind that everything is going to be so on. Um, is going to be online. So uh, what we had is was that we had to apa prepare. The resume, the video oh, resume, uh. and then there's like um current issue that you need to talk about. So you talk about something that you are comfortable with, that you think that you can speak confidently like that. You know what I mean? And then, like, um, all this um keep up with uh current uh news. But you guys have to bear in mind lah, like, um, when it comes to online interview. You guys dah macam focus on one particular ch- um, news that you want to talk about because you guys can target lah macam in the the face to face. It's not like face to face. It's like the we we'll call it the online, yeah. the visual, um, the visual meeting, the real visual meeting, which is there's another session that you are going to have with um panels. Uh, you guys can target lah macam oh, if you think that you want to do this topic, you have to master this topic lah. As in like um, topic yang memang you rasa you guys can carry and you guys boleh cakap confidently lah. And then uh, you guys buat preparation what you have to do uh, macam about that issue. It's like you guys can create your own uh, your own uh, questions, macam possible questions, you know? Like, or well, maybe this will come out like that. And then you can guess practice. Because I remember the time when I practiced with my friend Atika Hal. Yeah. What I did was that I had um, like a mock interviews with my best friend Atika. Eh? So basically, what we uh, did was that my child we called or uh, video call. Basically, we are going to like um, ask common uh, common questions, and then we record like time. For example, like oh, maybe like introduction, not mm. more than ten minutes. Eh, one minute, sorry. <laughs> But what you have to bear in mind. You are not going to like introduce yourself again because of the fact that in that video resume, eh, you uh-huh. are required to introduce yourself. So make it very short, make it very like concise because 
macam I tak rasa macam orang akan dengar unnecessary things and then that's why you guys have to focus on um what you guys want to talk about for example okay and make sure that you guys really really um I would say that macam I buat memang buat script tau mm. and then I buat script tapi macam tak adalah hafal sangat but it just macam I want to to get like to give um some sort of like uh overview of how or, or what I'm going to talk about in that particular video ah. and then uh, you guys can always tag your seniors like what are the common questions that will be going uh, that will come out and then you just tag your seniors <laughs> as simple as that because macam I would personally say macam memang I tanya my seniors tau right macam what should I do for my interview and so on and then my 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 seniors were very helpful and then they they were like okay you have to do this you have to do this and then you learn about faculty juga ah. macam maybe you can learn about subjects that you want to take macam what are the core subjects what are the elective maybe you can just can um can can learn about that macam oh faculty ni ada club apa faculty ada society apa for example you guys can just like simple like simply google everything and then macam because i will see that macam um you guys have punya law um, interview uh macam je lagi relax tau daripada ada law school i tak tahu ah macam you are so oh. pressure ha ah you have macam kena present or something right yeah they have to do moot uh mooting and then oh. macam yeah um that's why i would say macam our law school interview is more like one is more like they want to see how you guys talk how you guys bring yourself how you guys promote yourself that this is very important now because kalau you guys cannot um talk you guys are very very shy and then <laughs> you guys are not going to ex- is like the the interviews up and make sure that you guys um keep up with your syllabus because mm. what i would say is that like, macam i memang study my syllabus tau they really study macam i learn about contract a lot and then i i learn about apa lagi i belajar about constitu and learn everything lah i memang baca buku ah tapi i'm not that suggesting that you have to revise all the syllabus it's just that macam benda-benda simple lah because what i can see is that during my time which is like virtual meeting with a uh, virtual call virtual interview with uh, the panelists yeah. i know one of my groupmates he or she i did, i i couldn't recognize i couldn't like remember but that person was that well uh, that person was asked about what are the sources of the law and then that person did not even answer that my one tak boleh answer and this is something yang macam because you want to pursue law after all you need to like learn you guys need to understand you guys need to know at least and i would say macam tadi dah jurang nak go in detail jurang akan sentuh sikit lah macam sources of law for example like hierarchy of the court the simple as that which are elements of contract for example mm. these are the things that much um you don't tell you that oh um elements of contracts which are or offer substance blah 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 you don't tell you that much or the rank can say that you talk that people are the lama jam jam channel jam exception the case uh i got like about differences between fraud and misrepresentation and oh. then, macam, uh, it's kind of like it's kind of easy lah for me but macam kalau i think kalau you are non pre law student you guys are not going to be us about that particular questions you guys are going to be us about something else so <laughs> just macam keep in mind benda-benda yang benda-benda yang penting lah and then um my experience uh, dia juga macam i kena apa ya kena ah I can talk about my about myself, about my uh-huh. achievements, about my high school achievements, and about things that I do. So basically, when you submit your certificate, some of the things that I I did I didn't prepare for that. Like, what they tell me, like, how my past um past achievements, which is high school achievement, particularly, they tell me like how it molds myself how it basically teaches me and so on so on lah, like that. And then like, I didn't pre pero because i thought my chapo oh, maybe it's about asasi about my asasi experience so i didn't really prepare for that so um just keep in mind that macam kalau you guys submit your certificates 
high school certificates and extracurricular you guys prepare lah sikit sikit macam let's say you guys join rugby kan for example you guys prepare lah macam oh what did rugby do to yourself what did rugby help you and like that so just just macam just prepare lah af, af, apa yang kurang submit when you guys apply uh-huh. for law school you guys really, really have to understand every single like small details i would say that because my friend i remember my friend um dia uh my friend pula dia buat pasal you know like when we had that call glitch time semester 2 uh, okay. right? uh. so we have like a education fair and then uh he presented on refugees i think and then suddenly one of the interviewee uh, interviewer asked him about refugees yeah mm. he up his opinions on refugees so that's why when you submit something please 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 bear in mind what you guys please trace back what you guys have like done in um yeah you know yeah. what i mean <laughs> yeah yeah i think that's all good i think um you guys have to prepare maybe you guys can like start talking because i know like when you guys haven't speak uh you guys haven't spoken and 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 communicated in english it's going to be super hard though because you guys haven't trained yourself so what i do was that i always train in front of the mirror i always talk with myself like my name is more it's just as simple as that macam you guys can pretend to be interviewer and then you become yourself you answer it's just as simple as that and yeah i think um communication is the killer when it comes to like law school interviews yeah yeah i agree betul betul and but I suka you cover part yang pasal soalan simple tu. Memang, dia akan cover soalan yang simple. Tapi because you are so nervous, you boleh cover soalan-soalan ataupun chapter-chapter yang susah kan. And then bila masuk and then tak dapat soalan simple, you dah start blank dah. Yes. <laughs> tapi, ha. tapi the same thing kalau someone ask me about uh, interview, I would, I would suggest the same. Just untuk cover basic things je. Tapi focus on apa yang you sense the, for the interview lah. Macam, tapi... <laughs> In my case, waktu tu dia on, my question kan untuk law, dia orang tanya soalan degree tau. Dah lah soalan untuk kontrak SAM 2. Oh. <laughs> uh, Is it that, about about what? Uh, about uh, condition dengan warranty. Oh. <laughs> Kita tak belajar lagi pun. I think the lecturer macam tersilap pilih Maybe soalan. Maybe that mix up lah. Uh, dia dah mix up asasi dengan degree punya syllabus kot I think. Tapi it was bad tapi <laughs> i still managed to get into law school lah <laughs> yeah i think um somehow kan macam they did not want to see how you how perfect your answer is but it's more like a how you communicate with them like how you interact because hmm. you as a law student you know like how the stereotype of law students they like to talk they know how to talk they know how to like put out things and these are the things yang macam it shows because because when it comes to law school you have to understand that law students or law lawyers should possess three skills which are advocacy research and writing mm-hmm. these are the things that you guys are going to do throughout your uh, law school journey or much like, legal journey if you want to pursue if you want to do law after degree for example these are the skills that they didn't want to see after maybe like, writing they are not going to see writing because we do not have like admission um ACS ke apa kan uh-huh. and then we have um, advocacy these are the things macam this is the thing yang macam interview ni lah macam nak tengok you guys how you guys um, convey um, something um, for example macam warrant and condition you just be confident you right. just be confident lah because <laughs> I rasa macam they want to see your confidence juga lah macam tu and then yeah research tak lah maybe in law school but um, when it comes to interview they want to see your advocacy skills and yeah after all you guys have to practice practice and talk talk uh, make sure you talk in english lah because you at time guna english i tak tahu lah ada law school you know bahasa melayu ke ke tak ah okay. uh, maybe you can right tapi macam hmm. jarang punya interview pun jarang ada uh, jarang written je so kita ada advocacy macam ya yeah, interview kan hmm. so yeah i think that's how you guys want to tackle the panelists lah the Betul. interview yeah i agree with that okay so Ya, dah cakap pasal interview. Now, kita pergi kepada the 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 import, most important question dah eh, dalam kita punya forum today. And it would be pasal semester 1 degree. <laughs> okay. 
Because um okay, I tak nak uh, spoil anything lagi. So you cerita <laughs> about SM1. <laughs> um I think my semester 1 did not go did not go like I plan like I expected it to be because of the fact that macam like, everything is online you know how mm. like, um, it's very draining though it's like very phys- it's not like fa- physically draining though it's like more like mentally draining and to be honest it's nothing interesting for me when it comes to my semester one <laughs> and then we have to bear another one semester of online class so, uh. um <laughs> okay to be honest to be frank i did not really study um, I maybe myself, yeah, or maybe just myself, or other. Uh, yeah, I did not. I remember the time when I said my job. Oh, online classes is about finishing or assignments, or about submitting assignments. You did not really learn things. You know, that's what I had in my mind, and I remember the first sem- uh, the first um the first half of semester. I literally must study every single day like oh i have to keep up with this i have to read some other things before uh prior to to the lecture but after um i sit for my midterm there's are some of the subjects and i did meet them like mm-hmm. mls uh consti uh this one adalah cuma macam i remember the time particular consti ah i macam drain gila otak i and then i say macam Oh, I cannot do this. I cannot like keep up with study and then do assignments because at the end of the day, my um, online classes is about doing assignments. Lah. But um, my my semester one wasn't that good lah, as in because of my self theory, because of my problems and then my class problems. Because not class problems, it's just because my um, we expected it to be like, oh, it's going to be a like law school, like how people want it to be. And one thing is that jangan bagi full harapan sangat. I mean, like you guys can watch how to get away from murder. You guys can watch analyst getting um cat call uh cat call um calling calling the students like that. No, it's not going to be like that. It's, <laughs> it's just that my job. When did that get to jadi in real law school? Kalau dengan lecturer I mean, betul, lebih macam formal lah. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be super boring, but. When it comes to online class, I would say much um you guys need some motivation sila, to get through this semester. Because all you guys have in my in mind will be like, oh I want to finish this semester. I want to finish this semester as fast as I can. That's that's because I'm man we are totally like mentally trained, Tata. Because yeah, I I tell you people memang tahu how is how it went and I I wasn't I wasn't like expecting much now for my semester one because I I know that I didn't give my best if I dapat results yang bagus ke and macam I got this list kan which is tak course but looking at my um looking at my carry marks pun I don't think lah so uh, carry marks in it is uh, one of the biggest issue lah juga kan yeah. okay so since you mentioned about carry mark okay so I would like to point out something okay so sekarang ni kita nak cakap tu asesi river lah. Okay, diorang ni dah tak cakap, tak lah nak cakap pampered. Tapi boleh kata macam dah di, dijaga jugalah oleh lecturer-lecturer dekat asesi. So macam mana ataupun what is the difference between uh, waktu kat asesi and juga waktu kat degree. Uh, sebab duduk law kan. Hmm. Um, I think the difference is, yeah, I would say that macam we were being pampered. Yeah, that's the difference now because when you were pampered, can you much um if you want to get something like you want to know something, you guess much um can simply text your your lectures. But when it comes to degree, your lectures are so much um I don't know like whether they don't cool in real life, or maybe much um they are too professional though. I would say that much um they are too professional. Sometimes they um they cannot tolerate things. You guys give. Banyak mana pun excuses, tapi kalau you, diorang tak boleh tolerate, tak akan tolerate. And then the marks are so... Um, <laughs> uh, the marks are so... <laughs> tiket lah. And then the... I would say macam... Um, diorang very strict. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Yeah, the difference is that lah, macam carry marks kan. And then, uh, when it comes to degree, diorang memang akan bagi markah sikit. Just bear in mind. Do not, like, letak harapan yang tinggi sangat. Tapi macam, um, one thing that I learned for my degree, right, I learned uh, to be more independent because when it comes to uh, um, when it comes to like revising some things, can when I do not know something, I literally akan buka textbooks and macam like buku tempat tebal tu buka, and then I need to learn one one by one, like one word to one word because that's how we learn, and we have to read cases. And when it comes to law degree. Do not be lazy to read cases. Uh-huh. I mean, I mean, yeah. I put tak baca semua cases. I baca yang I rasa macam I nak je. Because <laughs> tampak banyak kan. Eh? Yeah, banyak gitu. And lain textbook, <laughs> lain cases <laughs> pak. Yeah, betul. Hmm. Okay, so kita dah cerita pasal SPM, asasi, degree. Okay, so sekarang ni kita nak uh, fokus untuk tips pula. Okay, sebab sekarang ni maybe our uh, audience kita nak tahu pasal tips lah. Sebab macam mana nak tempuhi ataupun lalui asasi and degree at the same time lah, okay. So, kita akan start dengan asasi dulu. Okay, cuba you share sikit tips macam how to survive asasi lah untuk SPM level. Um, yeah, I think one of my tip yang again macam I akan bagi dekat macam SPM levers kan. Hmm. I would say that you guys really, 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 really need to learn a lot of things lah. Macam Cakap macam, when it comes to law, you guys really need to be um, possessing high, because not like high standards, this is like macam like expected level of English proficiency, you guys really need to understand, you guys need to like learn some things, but it's okay. I would say that I'm not that kind of like person yang macam sangat bagus in English, I would say. I still learn, macam I'm still learning until now tau, macam I think English is like macam benda yang you guys kena lah. macam when it comes to law schools when it comes to law degree uh, even asasi pun kan macam you guys need to build up lah your 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 proficiency okay and that's why I would suggest that like, you guys can maybe read some of the books before um before apa masuk before class. before masuk asasi oh, and then you guys maybe you guys just want to like polish your English a bit because I know like how it's going to be super super rusty just because you guys are kind of lama tau after like I don't know lah because yeah, yeah SPM point is still going now right uh-huh. I don't know how long the gap will be but I would basically cakap macam memang you guys can belajar English lah and that's the first thing okay and then tips to survive as a C I would say that macam, you guys need to manage your time. I know it sounds so cliche, but this is the thing that you guys really, really, really need to do because when your time is not properly divided, like between your, 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 like, like you not berhuha huha, you not study, and that you wanna like do assignments, you wanna uh, focus on your curricular, for example, it's going to be super hard because you, when you have a very poor um, time management, you don't know what to do first. Like you don't know which one you which um should you prioritize first. Like, oh maybe I should prioritize my my extracurricular for example first, which is not because study after all is like your your priority, like my top priority. That's why I say macam you guys need to do your schedule. I would say macam I don't know lah macam some of the people during when you they wake up they book up phone for example and then they do like list to do for example um for example. Uh, what to do for today? Uh. Simple as that. Maybe it will work for some people. Like myself, I remember what for the whole semester, I remember can uh, what jadual. Like, memang fix jadual. Some people they want some sort of flexibility. So you guys do, but at least you guys have schedule. That's the thing. Like, of course lah. Like you check out. Like, oh, maybe I know how to properly manage my time. But kalau you guys tak ada schedule pun. It's going to be super hard, okay? I agree. At the moment, mm-hmm. the least that you can do is to do this, uh, and Yep, true. Yeah. Um, because of the fact that macam, macam I pun, memang I would personally say macam, I cannot do things kalau I tak ada schedule. Mm. Because that's how I learn, because um, 
because I dari pada asasi lagi kan memang I have lots of things that I join and then degree lagi when I work with um, international organization I will have to work with their time tau I have to attend meetings like virtual meetings um ikut time dia orang malam <laughs> nak malam pukul 9 like that which is still kacau my study time man but when you have that schedule you know what like, like macam what to do for example kalau you guys macam ada macam you guys dah ada um, schedule for your extracurricular you want to do like oh this week ada meeting and my club this one meeting and club so you guys jot down and then you guys maybe you guys can boleh alih-alihkan sikit for your study kan macam tu faham tak oh, and read more books and then do notes it can be just simply like written maybe computerized it depends on how you guys nak buat it depends on method which which method do you guys prefer and it really depends okay mm-hmm. and i memang i memang dulu i buat hand written and then sekarang um time degree is computerized but now i'm using my ipad lah because it's easier but if you guys have okay this is like benda yang tak perlu lah tapi macam kalau you guys have more money you guys invest on ipad lah i would say that it's very useful for your for your like online classes because you can jot down your your notes and then you guys can like yeah lah kan macam it's like a macam you are not going to be using papers a lot so it's a good investment lah and then uh, do your past years this is very important lah I time as I see, I'm like that kind of person like, oh, I've done this um past year, I've done this past year. But when it comes to English, I remember that some part. Mang, that's the thing I spent in that way. So, but yeah. But I think many of us are going to repeat, and then you guys have to think ah, like how how the pattern. I think when you are doing past year, kan, you do not really much um memorize things. You just not know much um how the structure. Mm. How this, yeah, like I said, structure of the answer mm-hmm. should be yeah, like maybe you guys can forward your answers to your your lectures, cause they got time, and some of like as I see lectures are so good, are uh, so much um, by it, helpful, um, kind. So you guys can just simply ask them to to check your answer, okay? And then I think um. Asasi, I don't really read cases ah, but throughout like my asasi journey, I dah macam tahu how to read cases because it's very macam cases are like bread and butter tau for law school law students. So if you cannot read case law, masuk negeri you guys akan macam suffer lot because you guys can baca macam baca please baca. <laughs> I don't know how to say, but memang lah macam. Um, kat asasi, I pun tak baca dulu. I baca cases bila perlu je kan. Tapi bila I macam, I menyesal sebab I don't really read cases kan. Because I macam, depends on the decision of the court je. And then, I tak baca full cases and how the judge delivers the judgments. Why the judge um, decides in such way kan. So benda ni macam akan menyusahkan you tau. Sebab kalau you guys tak used to reading cases, you guys akan rasa macam susah gila baca kes, you akan rasa malas when it comes to like degree so tak apa, it's okay if you are not expert pun in reading cases now in Asasi at least you guys have um idea on how to read cases because throughout the journey, your your Asasi journey at the end of the day, at the end of your Asasi journey you will become um expert and you become used to lah macam used to reading cases, okay? and then apa lagi? I think some benda macam simple lah benda-benda yang macam ni I tak touch about your personal life I know this is something that you guys have to work on that but jangan macam mix your life your personal life dengan your study life like that and then for asasi leavers I would say that same things are applied tau cuma you guys kena depends um, on books lah on textbooks kalau you guys baca manual dulu kan sangat nipis you guys kena um, try lah baca-baca buku yang tebal-tebal tu and then you guys maybe when baca buku you guys can use um, different um, apa orang bagi highlighters okay. with different colors because you guys nak maybe this color connotes um, particular matters this 
um uh, this color connotes another thing for example so maybe you jm faham and then you guys have to read textbooks or jangan depends on the lecture notes i would personally say macam because okay my contract lectures we did not really have like virtual meeting call every single week so we like google google classroom and then we really learn everything on my own on our own so if we have questions we can ask our lecture but most of the time we buat sendiri i literally memang buka textbooks and then macam oh i did this i baca this i know a lot of things but i baca textbook tapi kalau i tak baca textbook i tak akan tahu things for <laughs> macam for example macam kalau orang cakap oh macam ada sekali orang tak tahu pun yang macam apa fraudulent misrepresentation is actually under 70 ah uh, section 70 for example simple as that something cases yang macam orang tak tahu pun these trivial cases yang sepatutnya korang tahu orang tak tahu because korang tak pernah buka buku i i'm not saying it. because somehow i pun kadang-kadang terlepas benda ni but when i terlepas pandang benda ni i can simply just go to like textbook and i can oh maybe these are the things that i need to give more attention pay more uh-huh. attention because kalau you guys rasa yang macam you are equipped with lots of knowledge sebenarnya you guys tak pun believe me no you guys <laughs> rasa pandai sebenarnya tak pandai pun i will say that because i kind of had this mentality when i said macam oh i was like a top student it's not going to be like super hard but when i saw my carry marks i was like maybe it's time for me to step down be- <laughs> because it's not going to work i mean if you think you pandai sebenarnya tak pun just like keep studying keep studying and then read case law a lot like really really a lot like tadi lah macam baca benda cases yang tak penting baca cases yang yang you rasa macam penting because especially constitution law lah for my for our semester hmm. like because yeah. memang constitution law macam banyak cases contract pun ya macam thoughts kita jarang baca sebab je english cases so nanti you akan pening and then <laughs> mls um baca bila lecture suruh je hmm. tapi macam mls nak jaga it's going to be it's not hard mls tapi maybe sebab online classes so the questions are a bit tricky hard and that but do not worry and then you guys do your tutorials because when it comes to degree because i know when ka asas go we do not really do tutorial do tutorial tu ada kadang je but degree kita orang ada constantly ada do to and then macam burn out gila sebab banyak benda kena buat nak baca lagi nak buat tutorial lagi but please be smart for example macam Let's say macam, you guys ada kawan yang kelas A for example, I kelas C But we have same lectures But when it comes to tutorials, kita ada masa yang berbeza That's why you guys can actually exchange your answer Like, maybe you guys can, okay macam ni Aku nak answer ni, aku bagi kau uh, answer jawapan lain uh, For subject lain, I always do like that to be honest I selalu ambil jawapan MLS I for my friend I know it's going to be I'm not suggesting lah. Macam, I'm not suggesting macam tiru sebulat-sebulat macam without even trying, without even attempting the question. What I'm saying is that you guys can cross-check with your friends yang dah, uh-huh. dah buat macam tu, macam tu. And then, um, you guys can give your answer for like other subjects. So you guys can simply trade system butter like that, you know. It's very important. <laughs> Or maybe you guys want to like um, trade your answers with your classmates, uh-huh. maybe. So it's good lah macam oh maybe I do first till um third questions and then you what the rest. Yeah, it's simple as that. Macam work smart lah. Tapi kalau you guys try je nak buat buat tak menghalang you pun. Okay? <laughs> yeah. Ah tapi to be honest takkan sempat masa pun. <laughs> uh, maybe macam you guys um you guys buat dalam your class. You guys pandai dah lah macam Oh, korang buat ni, aku buat ni, aku buat macam aku. So, yeah. Hmm. I think that's why. That's why huh? you kena buat kawan waktu asasi. Because uh, kita akan jumpa the same people lah waktu degree nanti. Sebab semua kita pun law student kan. So, bila you ada kawan, waktu tu lah you boleh buat yang tips-tips tadi tu. You nak exchange notes ke, you nak bincang, you nak discuss. Uh, that's why this important to make friends. Hmm. Yeah. I think um that's why we need 
connection. If you think that macam you boleh survive law school without having friends, you are not. You are not. You are not going to survive. I obviously say that macam memang tak. And then, um, benda sama buat notes. I, I'm not going to repeat the same thing. Ah, this is that macam additional things that you guys need to do. Okay, and then be cases, and then degree. It's going to be super super draining ah. Tapi you guys need some motivations, or maybe you guys are guys rasa macam penat. Take a break ah, macam take a break. Like, oh, I need Netflix. I want to watch Netflix. It's not wrong at all. And please, um, I would say that macam I memang semester one I memang I tak study sangat ah. Okay, memang tak study sangat. I jujur, but I'm going to learn from my semester one now. But for me, kalau you guys rasa dah. Jangan rasa macam because your carry marks are not that good. Jangan rasa macam oh maybe I'm not going to get A. You guys buat yang terbaik like your best because you guys have final examinations ah. But kalau you guys macam oh macam nak target berapa? Jangan target lulus ah. Jangan pernah target please. Because kalau you guys target lulus, you guys akan dapat lagi sikit dari itu. Kalau you guys target A, maybe you guys akan dapat B plus atau B. If you guys get past, you guys maybe are about fear. So it's kind of like a law of attraction, tau. Tadi lah, maybe because um the reality in law school is going to be super super hard, like really really hard. You barely get A, tau. Seriously. I said, if you guys get A, maybe you guys panda. Panda. But if you get A minus, ah, panda tinggi pun kan. Ah, tapi ya untuk care mark kan, I nak. Ah, sorry to interrupt. Okay, tapi I think untuk care mark kan. Ah, you can do your best. Tapi don't expect much. Uh. <laughs> yeah, go on. I think uh. it's true lah because some of the lecturers they do not want to give you marks for for carry marks because I mean bukan lah tanah bagi it's just that macam they want you to be like to know benda yang macam you patut to improve. So when you got your okay when it comes to online classes, you guys tak akan dapat macam your test paper back because Like she tak sempat pun nak reply, nak email korang satu-satu. Maybe ada sama lecturers macam my thoughts law lecture. Ada yang reply balik lah macam bagi balik answer. Yeah. But uh, maybe macam kalau you guys dapat, it's like an, macam a signal for you guys to be to be like to do better. It's just like that. Tapi macam kalau di uh, macam online classes kan, carry mark je 60 kan. Yeah. Let's say kalau you guys dapat 50, you guys boleh dapat A lah. Macam 45. Boleh dapat A, tapi you guys need to like do better. Tapi kalau macam 40 tu dah tak ah. Macam oh, susah sikit ah. Mana my carry mark is 42 though. I don't want to mention that subject. <laughs> It's so bad. I feel like macam I thought that my subject that was my favorite subject ah. Tapi macam it was so bad. And yeah, do not, like macam even though macam you rasa macam favorite subject eh, macam hmm. do not Overconfident pula kan? Takut pula kan? I tak ada because I I I read a lot of uh, that subject Tapi macam Maybe I wasn't doing my best like that So yeah It's just macam Pengajaran tu is that Jangan target Jangan target macam You can target more Tapi jangan macam Aspect macam That she akan full mark No Jangan Degree, aspect <laughs> Macam asasi dulu <laughs> <laughs> ya, yeah. degree paling tinggi pun 17, 18, 20, 18 lah. I pernah nampak lecture dapat 18, bagi 18. Tapi most of the lecture bagi 17 like that. Mm-hmm. Ada lecture yang bagi 12 okay for all class. Yeah. Oh. Well, you you belajar kan dia? Ah uh, tak, tapi I have lecture yang macam tu kat. Macam susah gila nak bagi mark. So um yeah, I think that's all code for like for like you guys like a heads up on how it's going to be in law school, okay? Okay, okay thank you very much, uh, Akhirun panelist. Okay, it's very interesting hari ni sebab this is our last session juga and you, you macam kupas isu ni betul-betul lah. Ah, Maksudnya, you bukan, uh, I, th- I think you give macam very detailed answer so that the law student ataupun yang nak jadi law student, diorang boleh expect something. Ah, The law student ni is not Uh, I tak t- t- nak cakap law, I mean, law ni susah Tapi I think it's mencabar And you tak And To be honest Kalau you ambil apa-apa subject pun 
dia akan jadi susah kan hmm. mana ada kalau subjek senang semua orang dah graduate kan so basically mesti akan ada yang susah lah ataupun yeah. hmm, si susah punya okay. so any last word to SPM liver dengan kita punya asasi liver kan ha. so ada any last word um, I think my last word will be um, buat apa you guys nak I would say that macam never never follow your friend I like Like I did was like a mistake, but it was a great mistake. Faham tak? Macam, it's something that I really enjoyed. But if you think that macam, if you want to take law, you guys can like research on what are the job scopes, like job prospects pertaining to like legal world. Because I think macam, legal world is like very, very big, like very, very huge and very, very, I think the job itself is like very flexible. So... Never never regret of taking law Tapi kalau You guys jangan ikut orang lah Especially your parents I would say that macam I've seen a lot of people yang macam Oh I don't want to become I don't want to do law But at the end of the day You apply law As if you like it Because I think it's very unfair Because there's a lot of people Yang They want to do law But they didn't get the quota And that's the problem Because of the fact That these quotas have been robbed by you guys Yang memang tak nak do law pun in the first place And just stay away, okay? This kind of people, I'm so mad with. This kind of people can like go off, like get off like that. Because if you think that you do not want to do law, just do not apply for law in the first place. Please do not. Something that. Nanti macam absurd lah kalau you guys buat, okay? Macam ayah akan marah gila bila I dengar macam tu. Because I ada je kawan yang macam sekarang yang memang pursuing law. As in like my passionate. But... Dia orang apply sebab bahagian saja And then macam tak nampak lah kan And yeah uh, When you think that you have a passion The passion tu Sebenarnya jangan percaya pun Sometimes you akan get demotivated along the way And you akan rasa macam you akan tend to Take everything for granted And that's why I would say macam If you feel like demotivated Think of why did you take law Or maybe macam kalau you guys rasa macam Oh kalau I dah tak nak buat apa-apa Especially macam, I think it's super super hard for me to get through this. Just think that you want to like grad on time. Because there's a lot of law students who tak pass on time. And this is the reality lah. Macam, it's, it's true. Because there's a lot of people yang fill the, the papers. So law school is all about pass or fill the papers. So do not like, expect much. But, kalau you guys not betul-betul secure dapatlah 3 point above or maybe you guys want to get like um um first first class jarang ah ada at least okay go first class let's say you want to get like upper class second upper class is good okay do not worry because i rasa macam banyak je my senior sang fail papers kan dia orang repeat the same tapi ada orang dia orang dia orang graduate and then they like still pursue law for their for their life they still do law for their life so do not worry i, I mean like at the end of the day you guys are going to become someone so if you feel the paper ke kan jangan feel demotivated lah. i've never felt paper because i never feel the paper sebab yelah i pun macam semester one kan hmm. i i tak lagi lah macam feel any paper kan memang jauh-jauh kan lah jauh-jauh kan <laughs> so any last i think yeah do not Like, and please, kalau you guys dah dapat law, please do not take it for granted lah. Because, there's a lot of people yang want to do law, but they cannot. Because of the fact yang, somehow they got like family issues, they got like financial issues. Mm. Tapi macam, kalau you guys memang from UITM, it's not going to be a problem because UITM punya fees kan murah kan. Mm-hmm. Tapi, maybe kalau you guys betul-betul ada issue, you guys can talk about this with like, You know, like people yang boleh bantu korang. Uh-huh. So, if you think that you are passionate, just pursue law. If you think that you do not have passion, um, passion, just find one. I mean, like, just can simply watch movies, how people work. Ask about, ask your, your seniors about the real world of, like, the legal world. And then, yeah, I think nothing much pun kan, macam. And I'm hoping, like, the best. I mean, I would personally say macam law... Feel because I went I went to like a all boys school right and most of the 
kids this like kids they they took they take something else like they take engineering they want to take medicine but when it comes to law they tak tak ramai pun even in my batch pun i rasa macam ada dua tiga orang je yang pasal law uh-huh. so if you rasa macam you cannot do law but macam because you macam je lah something new it's like law is something new serious something new it's not like about history pun maybe a bit kalau you best belanja macam konsti ke kan macam mls sikit but sikit je macam one chapter je so it's going to be something new ke tau but my advice will be macam survey lah survey and buat diligence ah uh, things like macam you guys nak pursue apa you guys make sure you guys really really know it's not necessary for you to pursue law lah tapi macam because i know that like i said do not follow other people just follow your heart okay and let's say macam you guys dah macam cannot do selalunya orang buat law because they cannot do maths lah tapi macam ada je orang yang pandai buat maths but it depends like i said yeah it depends on individual lah I see that. Okay. Okay. Kalau uh, I myself pun memang bukan sama yang minat maths lah. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think always like that. But I did you my friend yang dapat straight A, but they pursue law for yeah. for 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 a reason. I think. Betul betul betul. Okay. So I think that's the end of our forum. Thank you so much, Adi, for joining us today. Dapat uh, bagi nasihat and advice to audience kita yang kat luar sana and my subscriber lah. Okay, so uh, thank you to uh, the audience for watching this video. Okay, kalau uh, you guys like the video and our panelists, eh, okay, so you can uh, hit the like button and uh, subscribe to my channel because as always, uh, when you subscribe to my channel, nanti uh, YouTube akan suggest, YouTube works on algorithm, so they can suggest my YouTube channel atau my YouTube video to other people yang cari content education because I set my content as educational punya content. So, okay, thank you again to Arif. Okay, maybe we kita boleh ada uh, a great discussion again later. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to like have discussion about law school, but we other things will be like, maybe about, you know, about like activities, about something else. Boleh, like boleh. That. Maybe, so, yeah. maybe some other times kita boleh buat forum with all panelists ke yang lain-lain kan? Okay. Yeah, I think uh. it's a good idea. Hmm. So anyway, uh, thank you for watching and goodbye. Goodbye everyone.